Good evening, Wigan. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just going to put that there. Don't worry, it's not going to go back. Spam! <laughs> it's not, I promise. I know what you're thinking. How are you all doing? Brilliant. Uh, my name's Jazz Singh, as you just said. I bet you can't, uh, bet you can't guess what I do for a living. Lady over there. That's right. I'm Baker. working. I'm a. Baker. Ooh, so close. <laughs> Butcher, baker, candlestick maker. No, I'm actually a banker. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I can't tell you which one I work for, otherwise I won't be able to go in on Monday. I'll give you a clue. It rhymes with Santander. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm watching something on eBay there. There's me and there's a lad called uh, Mr. Potato Head 1234. Don't know why I looked at you, sir, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're both looking at the same PlayStation this evening. Uh, it's my girlfriend. I know, I know what you're thinking. How desperate must she be? Right? Uh, my girlfriend um, has asked me to uh, stay occupied, keep my hands busy. Yeah? So I'm after a PlayStation on eBay. At least that's what I think she meant when she said, stop being a wanker. <laughs> yeah. We've been together 15 years, my girlfriend and I. 15 years. Which is only one year longer than our last argument. <laughs> I'm not sure why she's so upset. All I did was leave the toilet seat up after I shagged her sister. <laughs> Could have been worse. I actually fancy her mum. <laughs> Racism, eh? Yeah, I know. Thank you. I know. Wait for the punchline, won't you? Racism, eh? Anyone uh, smoke weed? Accidentally, obviously. You know, you were just passing through and someone handed it to you. Is that right, officer? Do you have a bit now and then, do you? Because <laughs> when you have too much, it's called pulling a white tahinos over there. Look at him. Fucking <laughs> Bill and Ted's wacky, wacky adventure over there. It's called pulling a whitey, but it's not fair, is it? It's not fair. Why is it okay to call it pulling a whitey? Could I get away with that? Don't think I could, because my mum and dad always wanted me to have an arranged marriage. Okay. Fair enough, thank you. Yeah, they always wanted me to have an arranged marriage. So I couldn't have got away with that. What I'd like to call it is pulling a brownie. The only problem is when... Yeah, thank you. That lady's ahead of me over there. You forgot to put your clocks back, didn't you? I'd like to call it pulling a brownie. The only problem with that is, when I did say to my mates, I've pulled a brownie, it's a bit of a knock on the door. You and your mates turned up in your uniform and the blue light's going. It's not the done thing. You know, pulling a Girl Scout. <laughs> it was fine though, it was fine, it's fine. She was really good with knots. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm ticking the diversity box tonight. <laughs> Your man Jed runs a cracking gig. This is a brilliant venue, by the way. Thank you for coming out to support. He said to me, he phoned me up the other day, he said, Jazz, we've got loads of dickheads on. What we really want is a fucking cunt. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I'm your man. Standing before you, if you will, is a dictionary definition. Massive cunt. He did say to me, if you're going to swear, Uh, Love Island, anyone been watching Love Island? <laughs> oh yeah. That show has been sold all over the world. All over the world, even up here. <laughs> There's one place you're never gonna get it. Can you guess? Wigan. Hey? Wigan? <laughs> Close. There's one place you're never gonna get it. India. Oh, he says, oh. And you like samosas, don't you? <laughs> You're not going to get it in India, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> says Uncle Brin, and I'll tell you for why. 
I'll tell you why. Because when Sanjay goes in that fucking house to shag all them birds, he ain't going to be able to get away with it because his mum's going to want to go. She's going to want to take her mum to make sure that he eats properly, obviously. Yeah. Not many Indians up here, so it's a lot easier with Birmingham and Leicester, that one. <laughs> Let's just see how Mr. Potato Head's getting on over here. I was lying, I'm actually on hold to the Samaritans. Um, <laughs> yeah, they haven't answered, which is good, because uh, if they had it done, they might have seen this as a cry for help. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was going to tell you, anybody on social media up here? Yeah? Which one are you on? Facebook, yeah, thought so. You miss? Oh, strong no. Anybody on Instagram? Yeah, that's my favorite one. Well, if anybody wants to follow me, I'm in the Blue Monday outside. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Just make sure you've got a full tank. Just like you, I am supporting local comedy also. I'm supporting local comedy also. Keep up the support, I'm only from down the road. South Witness, uh, you might know it as Coventry, about 120 miles away. <laughs> Thank you very much, you're a cracking audience, you've got a great bunch of comedians coming up. Thank you very much, my name's Jazz Singh.